elevate yourself at UC Davis. We're playing volleyball. That's the intro right there. <laughs> Let's go play some volleyball. I know, that was a lot of food from 7-Eleven. I'll explain later. I finally made it after an hour drive and a little bit longer stop at 7-Eleven than I planned. Made it to the UC Davis College campus and the last time I was here was, how long was that? 2009 when I played for San Jose State men's college club team and we played in the Far Westlands tournament which is one of the best college club team tournaments by the way. This is how you tournament properly. Look at this Costco cart. Got both tripods, got all my snacks here, extra shoes, ball, and no strain on the back. I love this thing. Look at that. I never thought I would be back here playing at UC Davis. This is such an awesome facility. So I know I usually eat McDonald's breakfast, but I've been trying to stay a little extra lean, and I ate a big dinner last night. So I'm falling in love with these long subs from 7-Eleven. They're so handy, they got good carbs and fats. So I'm gonna actually eat this for my breakfast. I got another one for lunch. We'll see how I feel today. Feel too heavy or if I have enough energy for the first match. Already time to warm up and guess who's late? Yes, you guessed it. Brant's running late so we don't have a libero for our first set. So Brennan and Anthony, luckily they have decent ball control. So we're gonna have to play against the Davis 2 team with no libero. Let's see if we can do this. We've been walking around for like 20 minutes. I'll go with, I'll go with Brent. I'm gonna minimize my walking. I don't know where you guys, you guys might be walking for like five miles. Oh, okay, yeah, I'll, I'll just go to the piece. See how productive this is? I'm trying to figure out where we're going, no one knows. I already brought my snacks. That's why I buy my, my snacks ahead of time so I can deal with this stuff. Got our first game out of the way and I'll be honest, I miss playing with Ryan Bridge. Even though he is the enemy from Sport Connex and now known as Barry Dimes. His sets are just so hittable, and he's 6'4", and just has a huge window, really aggressive. So, I think I'm hitting like 600 with him, and just playing with a bunch of friends. Almost lost that second set in three, and that would have sucked, because we're trying to save our energy as much as we can. Lost a little focus, changed a couple passes, and Davis was blocking really well, and just caught us off guard. So hopefully we can clean it up, and not have to go to three to any games in pool play. Look at this new Nike windbreaker I just got from the Nike outlet. I love Nike stuff, 50% off. Feels super comfy, staying warm on a cold day. As you get older, you get to enjoy the finer parts of tournaments. Brought my own chair, super comfy. About to get warmed up, but the game went to three, so it's sour candy time. Brant loves sour candy, so let's see what his reaction is when I offer him some. Brant, want some sour candies?
off to a 2-0 start and we kept our focus and we were able to continue to serve tough. My serve finally felt in rhythm. I spent a lot of that time foam rolling, resting on Friday and Saturday, just to make sure I'm fresh this tournament so I feel a lot better. And I forgot my protein shake, but luckily 7-Eleven has protein shake options. Not the ideal one, but this one's gonna be good because it has chocolate milk, so you want that sugar and 25 grams of protein. So now we're gonna ref and get ready to play our last match of pool play. We finish on top, gonna get a good scene in the playoffs. That's our goal is to try to rest and win as much as we can so we don't have to exert energy until playoffs. Look at this view. Can't wait to play down there. Officially finished first in our pool. Pretty good margin. That was a good team. Super scrappy, made us earn it, and they were serving tough. I mean, I was not passing well that game. So luckily we had Nick and Brant pick up the passing slack. But that was good. It's good to be pushed, and we look forward to playing the playoffs on the big court downstairs against some of the other first place teams. I'm gonna refill and refresh my body on Naked Juice. Naked Juice, if you are watching this, I would love to work with you. I love your products. I feel so good after drinking them. This is Brant's snack bag. Let's see what we got here. Perfectly it says Brant's snacks. Rome sticks. This is so cute. And he, this is packed by his girlfriend, by, by Char. Oh, in case he gets his teeth knocked out. Got applesauce. <laughs> Trail mix. In case oh, anyone's. Oh, oh. oh, hell yeah. We don't want sticky butts. Brant's going to use that right now. <laughs> Just found out that we got first seed because we won all our matches, but we also got a bigger point differential. So that means we get to be off. We're refing this first round. And we got to be ready to go. So we're off now, and I actually decided to take a nap. I rarely do that at tournaments, but I'm so tired. I did not sleep well last night. It's been a long day. It's been a long week. And I usually try not to take naps because then I feel like it puts me out. Do I have a mark on my face? <laughs> I slept on the floor. So I only took like a 20 minute nap and that was good. So now we're gonna get some coffee, hope that helps. Because we're off and then we gotta play single elimination and playoffs. Our goal is to try to win the whole thing. Is that right, Nick? Hell yeah. <laughs> Look at this, more Gatorades, more Naked Juices. Heritage. It's actually pretty good. Yeah? Approved by the Cuban. <laughs> it's that time. I've been waiting all day. I was hoping it was going to happen this morning, but feeling a little bubbles in the stomach. Time to activate the Elevate Poop program. 100% off year round, jump two inches higher, and hopefully five minutes or 10 minutes, however long it takes to execute the program. That's how, how much higher you're going to jump. That felt good. It wasn't a huge dump, so I'm not gonna be jumping maybe three inches higher, but medium dump, so probably one, maybe if I'm lucky, two inches higher, but it's a free program, it works all the time. Now we gotta wait for this game to finish, and we're on next. Time to warm up.
by UC Davis. It was fun. made it home after an hour and 20 minute drive. Didn't feel like driving that late at 9 p.m. And it's a Sunday, so I gotta wake up for work tomorrow at 6.30. But always fun to play volleyball, especially with friends. And this was a good group today. I really enjoyed playing with Nick and Ryan and Brian. Uh, you recognize him from our cow practice videos. He was the opposite for that team last year. General thoughts on how the day went. Uh, pool play, not that challenging. Um, there are some good teams and talented players, but we weren't really pushed that much. It was good to get some confidence and not have to play that hard because when we're in the semifinals or because when we're in the quarterfinals, definitely felt fresher. And in the semifinals, I think some fatigue started settling in. And our group is a little bit on the older side. We got some young guys like Brendan, Anthony, and Brian, but Nick, Ryan, me, and Brant are on the older side of the spectrum, so we do get fatigued a little bit earlier. Playing against UC Davis was frustrating. They were a good team. They had really great block and defense chemistry, and their setter set a very good game. He was able to utilize all of his hitters, and it was tough for our blockers to know who to commit to because the setter just did a great job watching what our middles were doing, and got his hitters in good positions and their scrappiness gave him a lot of hitting opportunities and we just made a bunch of hitting errors and got blocked and it was just not a good game they forced us to play poorly and it took us like an, an entire set to get fully warm and davis came out guns blazing so lots of props to them definitely wanted to beat them so we can make it to the finals but what can you do we got beat and we sucked in terms of how i felt today i'm happy that i didn't cramp a lot of my cramps from before used to happen from just stress and not a lot of sleep so i made sure i slept early last night and the day before i stayed hydrated and made sure i hypervolted my whole body and i didn't cramp feel good about that um, but i do feel really rusty this is my second time playing sixes in over three and a half or four months because i usually take a break due to girls volleyball season for three months and i'll still do my weekly reps on fridays with kai and christy and the crew but it's not the same as playing sixes so i didn't feel like i was jumping that high today and wasn't able to put a lot of heat i was definitely jumping a lot higher and hitting harder during the summer league but that's because i was training and playing a lot of volleyball so not bad for my second time around but Definitely looking forward to getting back into the gym hard, getting reps, and just playing more sixes to be better because we got a new team coming up and a big season. We're hoping to be even better than last year for our VLA season. Mm -hmm.